I have the League of Shadows here to fulfill Michael Bay's destiny. Wait, Michael Bay? Oh, yes. I will turn Gotham into a Transformers movie full of explosions with hot women running away from them in slow motion. No, 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 no. Oh, wait a second. It has begun. No. What up, big kids? Here's your big review of the Dark Knight Trilogy Play Arts Kai, Batman and Bane. So here we got the packaging of both Batman and Bane. Has that cool rain promo art, but with the actual figures instead of uh, the actors. It says the Dark Knight Trilogy Play Arts Kai, number one Batman, whereas number two is Bane. They look very cool and they almost look like the boxes can match up. A warning, you don't want to choke on your Batman or Bane. It's insane. The back of the box just shows the figure in many different poses which looks badass, as well as some more uh, probably Japanese or something I can't read. Uh, but yeah, they look pretty badass. One side of the packaging shows the Dark Knight Trilogy logo, as well as the Play Arts Kai logo, while the other side continues that nice rain promo art that the front of the package has. And you actually have Velcro on the front, where you can open up. You actually have a really nice biography of each of the characters. You can feel free to pause and read it right here, but um, also shows a nice picture of the figure on the side, uh, whereas the window box shows off the figure with all the accessories. You can see Batman right here with the cool uh, broken Batman symbol. Or Bane's the inside uh, cover, you know, shows a picture of him as well as has his biography, which you can feel free to pause and read in. We know that he's insane. But one thing I do like on the bottom here, it says, I have your back. I thought that was pretty awesome. I really wanted to show it off. That just made me laugh so much. Well, let's see if it's time for the Dark Knight to fall. Let's open up Batman Bane. And here we got the Play Arts Kai, Bane, and Batman. Definitely awesome figures, but they are not without their flaws. Let me, let's take a closer look at them. Now you guys know I'm a huge fan of the Play Arts Kai fi, uh, line. I have many of them from all their video game lines. And when they announced they were going to do movie figures from the Dark Knight Trilogy and Man of Steel, I was excited, but um, Square Enix is really great at their kind of anime style translating for video game figures. And as you can see, when it comes to movie uh, uh, characters, especially actors, it doesn't translate as well. You can kind of see a little bit of Christian Bale's Batman, but the profile, and I'll get to Bane here, neck is really short, like a little too short, like it, it's almost non-existent. Um, and his skin tone is really dark. It's like almost Batman is like freaking, I don't know, like Spanish or something, or, you know, he's just like been, got a tan, and you know, Batman doesn't like the sun, so, you know, but I mean, sculpting is pretty cool. I mean, it just does have a very anime look. And this goes into the suit. Now the suit looks cool, but the proportions are a little weird. Like his chest is really big and his abs are very small. And his uh, belt, his utility belt is a little weird too. Like um, it's a little too small in the front, but then it, like on the side here, you can see here, which I'm trying to show the um, and uh, like the twists and turns, like he has big old pouches in the back as, and then like no pouches like right there, which I guess makes sense. Sculpting is really good and the paint apps are really good too. You know, Square Enix has never let us down, even like the bottom of the boots. And the cape um, is cool. Um, I do like it, but it's it feels like it's trying to be more like the Batman Arkham City cape, whereas um, the movie cape was more, you know, flowing and didn't have the big old, you know, it had uh, the bad pattern, but not as much. And the way it's separated kind of isn't movie accurate. Um, like I said, it's it's articulated, which I'll get to in a bit, but um, like I said, I like the gauntlets here. They're probably the best part of the sculpting. Looks really good as well as, you know, the gloves. But yeah, I mean... Yeah, uh, it just doesn't look as good as I was hoping. Articulation, Batman's head can fully rotate. Um, it rotates on two joints, the neck joint, as you can see here, which I'm twisting pretty bad. Uh, and it can uh, move left, right, uh, it goes down pretty good. It, only up that much, so if you were trying to do like a bad pod look, not as well. I mean, it's definitely better than the Mattel one, but not as good as the Hot Toys one. The arms can't fully rotate, which is good, so the shoulder pieces are you know, together, and it has that um, ab or uh, 
armpit joint that goes forward and back, so that's really good. It does have a bicep swivel, but because of uh, the way it's sculpted, it can't really rotate that much, so that kind of sucks. Even the Hot Toys one can move a little better than that. And it bends at the elbow and rotates at the elbow, but also, once again, because of the gauntlet, can't rotate as much as it should. And it doesn't really have a double joint, where even the DX12 Hot Toys one can have more of a double joint in. The rest do fully rotate and go in and out. Uh, the upper ab, you can see here the chest does rotate and it doesn't really go forward that much. It goes back a little bit and it does have waist articulation so that's good but you have to be careful of his undies. As you can see here it's a separate piece. Like if you lower this, there we go, it looks a lot better but yeah it's still like yeah. Anyway, um, legs go forward and back and now on the nice ratchet joint, rotates the other part of the leg, bends at two points of the knee at the, you know, the big old um, knee joint. Uh, the square enix is known for and the ankles rotate and um, pivot forward and back it has a nice ankle pivot side to side cape articulation which has two ball joints that can move the cape only problem is it can it has that uh, split that looks a little weird so you either have to move it with it but you can rotate this and move it side to side as well as this part side to side um, it can't flow out too much more because of this piece right here so that's the only bad part a batman comes with seven different hands he comes like open hands, yeah, he comes to uh, uh, inbox with his fisted, hand, fisted hands. Um, he, you can see here has different hands for holding his battering and for holding his grapnel gun or his bomb. So he definitely has a good selection of hands and they're all nicely detailed. He comes with his bat bombs as I like to call them. One is with, with it's not activated when I think it's activated like his little bat mines. Uh, they're very nice and nicely detailed um, and it's cool that you have two different versions of it. It comes with a battering and one thing, be careful when you're opening this out, this flew across the room when I was trying to take it out of the box and it took me a while to find it, but it's a very nice gold paint. Definitely the best of his accessories is his grapnel gun. Very nice paint apps on it, looks very nice. Both Batman and Bane come with that Play Arts Kai stand that I've shown off before that you have to build with all these different pieces. This is it before it was built. Um, I'm not gonna build it right now. Uh, they they stand pretty good, but it definitely helps, especially Batman might need the stand a little bit more. But yeah, it, it has instructions on how to build them inside the box. Now Bane, I like more than the Batman, but there is definitely some flaws with him. Now the head sculpt's really nice. I love the paint apps on his mask, and you can see the veins and kind of like his head has the dirt, so very nice. So the problem is his neck, especially compared to Batman, is really long. It's a little too long. It's like it can look really weird especially from some angles i mean look at that it looks like he has this big old head with a very skinny neck as detail on this vest is very nice i really do like it a lot it's very very exceptional detail the veins have this kind of um almost like green silver thing going on especially in person they're more noticeable it kind of looks like he injected himself with the venom which is weird because, you know, in the movie, they had no mention of Venom. The gauntlet looks cool. I really do like that a lot. But yeah, like, especially on this arm, yeah, look at that. It's like, the veins are, I, I, I don't know why they chose that color. They should have done, I, I, I appreciate the vein detail, but the color, it just looks like he's kind of supercharged on Venom, ready to take down Batman. So yeah, that, that is a little weird to me. I kind of, I really don't like that at all. Um, yeah, the back of his vest looks pretty sweet. I really do like it a lot. And the paint apps on his on his uh, co combat pants are pretty awesome. Like, and then he has some sort of bluish thing. I don't know, kind of be like dirt or whatever on his knee pads. And let's see here with the boots. They do look really, really awesome. But yeah, like I said, uh, the detail is really good, but some choice of the paint apps is very questionable. For articulation, Bane's head can fully rotate on this part of the head, as well as only goes up that much, and this neck does go up and down and rotate, but like I said, it can look really weird at certain angles, so you kind of have to have it like, where it's kind of like, this neck's up and then this down, otherwise it looks too skinny on parts. Now the arms can fully rotate. They have an armpit joint that goes forward and back. They do go in and out. They do rotate the bicep better than the Batman. And they bend at the elbow, uh, not almost as much where he can like touch his uh, vest to give that classic Bane, you know, swagger look. Almost, 
almost got it. You kind of have to use the wrist to do that. Um, yeah, so it rotates at the elbow, rotates at the wrist. Let's go in and out. Uh, the upper ab or chest does go down really good and goes up not too much. It does rotate. He does have waist uh, joint that rotates, um, which is good. Legs go forward and back, in and out. Rotate the other part, upper part of the leg. The knees look a little bit awkward when they're bent, so that's only a bad thing, but they're two points at the knee. And the boots, the ankles uh, rotate as well as go forward and back, and does have nice ankle pivot. Plus, his boot has a rotation, which is uh, on his toes, so that's that's pretty cool. Bane sadly comes with way less accessories than Batman. He only comes with a total of four hands, the two fisted hands that he uh, comes in package with, and then two open hands. And besides the stand, he only comes with the broken Batman cowl, which is not even movie accurate. The movie accurate one like broke off like right here. There was no like two um, uh, ear pieces. And it's weird in instructions how he's supposed to hold it. He says it's only supposed to hold on this hand and it has little slots for the fingers, like right there and there. But I still haven't figured out the best way for him to hold. I guess kind of like that, but it kind of looks weird and slips off. So that's the only bad thing. Oh, you think darkness is your ally, but you merely adopted the dark. I was born in it, molded by it. I didn't see the light until I was already a man. By then. Oh, 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 oh. You talk too much. Size comparison time. So here you can see the player sky figures are in good scale with the other player sky figures like from Batman Arkham City and see how much smaller they are than their Hot Toys counterparts. They're more like at the uh, 10 inches, uh, uh, yeah, a little uh, less than 10 inches, and you can see how much bigger they are than the Movie Masters Batman. Now, I'm a huge fan of the Play Arts Kai line. Like I said, it's my second favorite line uh, compared to Hot Toys. But like I say, if I never had Hot Toys versions of these figures, I would like them a lot better. However, yeah, there is definitely some flaws in these compared to other Play Arts Kai figures. One, like I said, it's the likenesses. Um, I don't see that much compared to, of course, Hot Toys or even the Mattel ones. Um, you know, the paint apps on Bane are kind of like weird. Like I said, I don't know why the veins are, are that color and his neck. Batman, also his proportions are a little weird. Like I said, the articulation is really good. Uh, they could be, a little, they're even maybe a little bit better than the Hot Toys and definitely the Mattel uh, ones. The only problem is, like I said, it's, it, like Bane, I wish he came with a few more accessories, like somehow deal with the coat, or I don't know. And Batman does come with a good amount of accessories, it's just, yeah, the cape can be a little awkward and he's a little hard to stand. So, I said, these these figures are really good, um, not as the most mo movie accurate looking, they're more very anime inspired that the Play Arts Kai figures are known for. You can get these figures for 60 bucks each at AlterEgoComics.com. For that price, Batman, I think, is worth it for that price. Bane, I think, should be cheaper, 50 because of the less accessories. Um, like I said, they're definitely, the Hot Toys ones are the best ones, hands down. Uh, but if you can't afford those and you don't mind the Play Arts Kai scale, they're definitely great, especially if you love articulation. Like I said, like I said, they're not perfect, but they're really cool. And like I said, um, I still will pick up the Catwoman and the Joker for sure. And I said I'm just more of a bigger fan of their video game player sky figures, but like I said they're they're not bad, they're just not perfect. For more geek news reviews, podcasts, and more, go to bkbn.net. I'm Sean Long, member celebrate your name in a big way. Where does he get those wonderful toys? Excuse me. He was saying he gets them at alterigocomics.com. <laughs> For the latest in hot toys, sideshow collectibles, replicas, and more, visit alteregocomics.com. They take PayPal pre-ordered and they lowest prices on the net. Lowest price for hot toys. You must be joking. Do I look like I'm joking? Go to BKB and not that. Go to BKB and not that. Go to BKB and not that. I tell you to go. Go down. Oh yes. I wonder what would break first. <laughs> your body or your voice? <laughs> oh. At least I don't need subtitles. At least I don't need a chiropractor. See, this is what I'm saying. Could someone give me some subtitles up in here? Ah, oh, my back.